promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome film fans to another quick shot review and I'm still watching movies at home for the time being until I get my cinema pass sorted but today's movie is one that I really enjoy and I do go back and watch it once a year. Um, some people hate it, some people absolutely love it and some people are indifferent as you can tell if you're watching this on YouTube you can tell by the thumbnail on the podcasting channel the Blair Witch Project. I just want to you know, remove the elephant from the room. It is the Blair Witch Project. It is one of my favourite films and it marked the changing of the guard for horror movies as we saw them going forward and then everybody wanted to do a Blair Witch Project. Um, Obviously, there's argument that this isn't the first found footage film. You can go back to Caliber Holocaust for that, and probably before that. And there was a film, a little known film, because this film was marketed so well, called The Last Broadcast, which came out before Blair Witch, um, that some people attribute to the modern take on horror cinema that is found footage like i say some people love found footage other people don't i like it and there's some really good found footage films that don't get enough love wreck is one of them uh, another one is hell house llc you've also got um oh, what's it called now i can't even think of it but it's it is really good it's set in an asylum and they did a sequel, and I'm going to kick myself now. Um, but yeah, basically it's a masterclass in marketing. It was the young days of everyone having access to the internet. People actually believed that these three people had disappeared, and it created this whole atmosphere around watching the film that I absolutely loved. I just turned... Um, 16 at the time so um, I was of the age to be able to go and watch this um, and I did absolutely indeed and uh, basically it's about three film students that go into a forest in Maryland and uh, trying to find the legend of the Blair Witch doing a documentary on the legend of the Blair Witch interviewing locals in and uh, finding out about it obviously like i say the marketing around this the curse of the blair witch the documentary um the website and, and genuinely people ringing into the police saying they've seen these people and all this kind of thing it was just crazy the the whole thing was absolutely nuts and um Basically, they never come out. The footage was found underneath a knockdown wall. Um, and, and then you watch these um, these films that were supposedly shot in 1994, uh, way before um, you know the internet was widely available. Uh, and perhaps even then it was on dial-up. So, yeah... They go into the forest in Burkittsville, they never come back. And um, yeah, it, it's um, recorded on Handycam, so if you have a nervous disposition or get travel sick or seasick or anything like that, this film is definitely not for you. Uh, however, I absolutely adore this film. Um, and I think it's great. It's just... The three 
film students and the people that they interview is the cast. Uh, that's Heather Donahue, Michael C. Williams and Joshua Leonard. And they all have their own names as characters in this film. It was followed by Book of Shadows very promptly in 2000, riding the wave of popularity. That was not a great film. And then more recently in 2015, we just got Blair Witch, where we actually got a glimpse of the witch, which was very disappointing. And the whole point of the Blair Witch is that you never actually see the witch and it's left to your own imagination. And that's what I absolutely love about this film. If you've got an imagination that's going to be willing to run away with you, you can think whatever you think about this film and it will probably be true. Um, the directors, Daniel Marek and Eduardo Sanchez, made this film on a shoestring budget and then sold it to uh, a big film studio for wide release and made millions, billions <laughs> off the rights um, uh, alone for this film. And, and that is just nuts. Um, to think that they filmed this on a shoestring budget and made that much money and because it's done on Handycam and like I say audience were more susceptive um, to new ideas at that time and um, it just makes it more real it's tense, it's unsettling and it's well, it doesn't have any music because it is just film footage of people out in the woods. All you can hear is the animals and the creepy crawlies in the background and sticks cracking under their feet. That is all you can hear. And it is raw. And I absolutely love it. Um, it's, it's not a full feature length film. However, there's enough here to keep you hooked and it does end in a fantastic way and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And <clears throat> like I say, it's very divisive. You can get, you know, people giving giving it 8 out of 10. You can get people giving it 3 out of 10. It depends on what you like. I mean, I've got a lot of friends who are horror movie buffs and I absolutely love found footage. I know a few people that absolutely hate found footage. No matter what, they will not watch found footage films. And that's quite sad because they, uh, they are really good. And this was the precursor to the um found footage genre of the modern era and we got loads we got wreck we got vhs we got um oh, there's there's loads just tremendous amounts paranormal activity which i've already already uh, reviewed as well that could be considered um found footage I'm going to say, some people will find it ridiculous. I absolutely love it. And like I say, a lot of the reactions in this film are absolutely raw. They do not know what's going off. They do not know what's happening. And that's what makes it a great film for me. Let me hear your thoughts on Blair Witch Project. It's straightforward. It's in your face all the time it's close quarters filming and it just makes it yeah it just makes it real makes it feel more real um than than anything i'd ever seen at that point in time it was just great and uh, yeah i love it um incidentally budget of 60,000 and an opening weekend of one million five hundred and twelve thousand and fifty-four US dollars, 
with the gross of 140 million five hundred thirty nine thousand and ninety nine dollars and the worldwide gross two hundred and forty eight million dollars i mean that is profit isn't it that is profit and uh why i love it absolutely love it anyway i'm gonna leave you there for this one uh let me know what you thought of blair witch project give me your thoughts on the film if you've seen it if you haven't seen it if you refuse to watch it tell me why because i'd be really interested to know um and on that note i'll leave you there thank you very much film fans and goodbye